morning, everybody. It's the Mobile Home Mama. We have a very customized, thrifty two-bedroom that I wanted to make sure that you saw the customizations and I could explain everything. So on the outside, you'll see, um, and we'll feel it when we get inside, that we've stretched from a 14-foot wide to a 16-foot wide. And this home has a lot of uh, character to it and lots of different kinds of things going on on the inside. So we've got Brittany behind the camera today. We're glad you're here with us. And uh, let's go inside and check it out. We've done a lot of things in here. And one of the questions that I get asked so many times is, can you ship a home without any floors? And the answer to that is we can omit the carpet and the pad and give you a credit for that. And that's exactly what we've done here. We'll see in the next room. But you can feel that this is a 16 wide as opposed to a 14. Um, you'd lose two feet on each end. So if you see our thrifty home, which is a great deal at 38,900, we can stretch it many different ways. We can stretch it long ways. We can stretch the width as well. So if you need, and you get to choose the areas where we stretch. So if you want a specific room to be larger than the rest, then you would choose to stretch right in that room. If you want an all over larger feel to your home, then you would stretch the width. That's also the case in a double wide as well. So we can stretch from a 24 to a 28, from a 28 to a 32, from a 14 to a 16, which is what we've done here. We've added this transom window here, and this is the kitchen and living area space. Added a 16 by 60 transom window. Um, this is a very popular option in the master bed. So Brittany and I were very surprised to see this here. And I think it's a great um, play on the light and a great use of an extra window. We do adhere to a light and bed schedule that is um, already predetermined by the HUD building code. So normally there would have been a window in over here. The customer probably was looking for a TV wall or some, maybe a couch wall, something like that. So um, they put this large transom window up there. Coming over to the galley kitchen, and when I say that, I mean the kitchen is up against the wall. If you ever hear me talk about a galley kitchen, that's what that means. We've done the standard electric stove with the hood on the top. We did leave the opening for the dishwasher. Now, I will tell you, in this home at a 14 wide, there is no room for a dishwasher. So when we stretched it, now we have the ability to add the cavity here. Also, on a 14 wide frame in the thrifty models, not large enough to do a two by six wall unless you stretch it. So that's exactly what this customer has done. Behind the siding, we're gonna have a two by six exterior wall. Kept everything else pretty standard over here, standard 18.2 cubic foot on the refrigerator, Whirlpool appliances, they're always black unless you tell me to change it. And uh, we'll head down the hallway now. Also, notice we drywall this thrifty. We can drywall any home. Standard, we're gonna start with a VOG wall, which is vinyl over gypsum, still a drywall product, um, but you would have the batten strips, not in the case of this home. We have a nice drywall finish. You're going to see that the floors are going to look a little funky because we do have the option of omitting the carpet and the, the pad here. So um, the customer is probably, I'm sure, going to put their own carpet in, in or their own floor going on. Maybe they're going to do a floating floor or a hardwood floor. Here is what would be a bedroom. Um, bedroom two to be exact. I have no idea what's going on with this customer. This is actually one of Kyle's customers, so I'm just doing the video for it. Um, looks great in here. But again, notice the floors are kind of different. Open for the later carpet yeah. that the customer wanted to put in themselves. Now check this out. We've got transom windows going everywhere, and actually Kyle was the one who started this trend. Um, in the hallway, sometimes you'll see a dark hallway and a single wide. So we thought, why not throw some little transom windows up there to add some light coming down the hallway? And um, I think it's a great idea. We've got one, two, three, and four, and five in the bathroom. Also, the customer kept the bathroom pretty standard. They just threw that little transom up there. Oh, I do like that. What's yeah, yeah. great in the thrifty too is we do have enough room if we wanted to to add a walk-in shower. You're not going to see that in the thrifty one unless we stretch it to a 16. So thrifty two has a great bathroom that can be customized. This is where it gets a little different. I'm not sure because it's not my customer what's going on here, but we've added an exterior door. This would be the primary bedroom. But it looks like they're creating a little foyer here, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got an exterior door, 
This is the washer dryer. Like I said, normally this is a bedroom, and in the thrifty series, your washer and dryer is always in the bedroom. But to me, what do you think, Brittany? It looks like it's going to be a foyer. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, some sort of just, yeah, opening yeah. up to the thing. And then you'll see here that we've got the extra trim there that we're going to send ship loose because... You know the no carpet so that way the customer has them to put them on after they put their carpet on yeah that's a great observation and also i noticed on the order that we've got a 200 amp service instead of a 100 amp most single wise do upgrade to a 200 amp service unless you have an older site that still has the 100 amp so um here's another example of a customized champion home come in let us know your lifestyle let us build a home that suits you and uh we'd love to meet you Information is in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody.